I'm very proud today to represent PwC and PwC France, the sponsor of this uh, conference, where we have uh, the chance to be trained by the one of the most best blockchain leaders in the world. What I would like to say is that doing the splits every day between historical business and new business such as blockchain is not so easy. Uh, I have fully dedicated my uh, 20 first years of uh, my career um, measuring and mitigating risk, mostly for banks, solving um, regulatory issues, I mean credit risk, market risk, balance sheet risk, and I have experts in the room uh, for this. Uh, and I'm still developing my skills to help my clients doing this. But what I have discovered a few months ago is that the most important risk today for financial institutions is in fact uncontrolled technological obsolescence. I mean, in other words, doing nothing is the most important risk. Doing nothing in front of a tsunami of technology mostly unregulated at this stage. So today, from my point of view, mitigating risks consists also in taking risk. And I should say, in fact, taking a chance. Taking a chance to experiment new opportunities, new technology, new type of management, new mindset, of living together, share, and collaborate. And this is exactly what blockchain uh, promised to, to us. It is a transformational technology which will impact many industry and society at large. I mean everything in society, even politics, university, schools, uh, regulators, big companies, little ones, and all of you as individuals. Of course, it's an emerging business, and a lot still need to be done. But if you allow me, it's just like a baby newborn. I mean, full of hope, but not finished at all. And this baby needs you <laughs> to help him to grow, and you, you need to adapt your traditional life to this new joiner, and not the opposite way. You need to adapt. So what can we do? Well, I do think we are at the beginning of a revolution, and that everyone in this room has a big role to play in this adventure. You, as technical experts, I can see also established companies struggling to make understand to their CEO how he or she uh, could exploit this technology and also as PwC. For me, the recipe to bring that technology and that change to life is simple. First, you need a vision, then a voice, and a brand. But above all, there is a secret ingredient behind this. And you all know this ingredient because it's the backbone of everything in life. I mean, trust. Trust plays a major role in our society, and it starts with yourself. Do you trust enough in yourself? It's the at the beginning of everything. Trust is included in most of the decision you take. It's the core of everything, love, friendship, friendship and business. Trust is essential to create value in, us in our business world. Just a question for all of you, and please raise your hand. Would you buy shares of a company which is not audited independently? Would you buy shares? Equity. Okay. <laughs> so I see few, few of us, of course. Because what an independent auditor brings trust to investors and lenders. And when, they, when there is trust, when they start thinking about putting their money inside the company. And then, while the auditors create trust, then the market can expand. I mean, when there is no trust, the market cannot grow. What is our role now at PwC? We have over 100 years of experience regarding the trust ma matters. We audit, we provide risk assurance to our clients and all kinds of advices. All clients can rely on our judgment. This is our role. So at PwC, we are trust experts and that's why we are blockchain believers. Blockchain is a trust machine. Always says uh, Vivian, a member of my team. I think all of you know, know this. Uh, blockchain has unique characteristics that can have add more trust in society. For instance, 
shared trust transaction. No one can control blockchain, but everyone can uh, inspect them. Uh, with the blockchain, you have less errors because you have no more uh, data and write duplication or reconciliation, so it's easier. Uh, you have uh, stuff also about security with cryptography, and also blockchain can reduce its costs. According to a Santander FinTech study, this technology could reduce banks' infrastructure costs between 15 to 20 billion per year uh, in, the, in the next few years. So it's, it's huge. Obviously, and as uh, the previous speaker said, um, the finance, financial industry in, is in the forefront of the blockchain subject. But many others in industry will be impacted by blockchain. And Sajida, or Pierre in this room, could explain it better than me. And you have a lot of use cases in uh, health and energy, of course. What I wanted to say is that blockchain is incredibly collaborative and it will give its full potential if industries cooperate between, between them. For instance, we have, during a brainstorming, we had uh, an idea with, uh, with the team. Let's imagine a system of uh, points of loyalty. Okay, so you have a, a, a family, a mother, and she needs to uh, choose between, because she doesn't have any enough money, she needs to choose between going to the supermarket and buy food for children and pay the electricity bill. With a system of uh, loyalty uh, based on blockchain and a link with several industries, then she can go to the supermarket, she earns uh, points of loyalty, and then she comes back home. These points help her to pay the electricity. So, from my point of view, blockchain is also a world of, uh, of uh, creativity and, uh, and share and uh, everything. So here are the several industries, but with blockchain, you can mix them as much as we want. And if we go a little bit further, um, we can also see disruption inside blockchain. And I will give two examples. For instance, uh, Bill Gates said, we need banking, but we don't need bank anymore. What we have in mind, of course, the GAFA who wants to uh, take market, market shares from banks. Sure, maybe with blockchain, banking system will emerge in other se uh, industry sectors. And I also read uh, in a recent article something about disrupting the, uh, the audi uh, auditing part. It was written, blockchain technologies lead to the paradigm shift from trusting humans to trusting machines. And a little bit later in the article, it was saying that blockchain could eliminate the need of centralized and specialized auditor. Wow. Dangerous for auditors? Dangerous for PwC? Well, maybe. So we need to prepare. And actually, we are preparing that, uh, that change also at PwC. Performing the on audit today is mainly based on um, doing sample on every each, uh, at every end of each quarter. And we have auditors in the room. Don't know where. But he loves his job. And <laughs> he's very happy to be there because he will be ready when his job is going to chance because tomorrow we will be able to audit every single transaction and in real time. And doing this in real time will give us time to do all the things, to allow us to provide different services to our clients, and maybe more added value services, such as predictive analysis or assessment. So I think we are all aligned with the vision in this room. Now let's talk a little bit about the voice. What about the voice? What about your voice? Do you share enough your vision? Do you share it with the right person? Who is the right person to share your vision with? This is a very important question. Is this person scared about the night, like a child? Is this person, even worse, scared about the light, like many, uh, um, many of the adults? A French partner shared this slide with, with me, and I think it was interesting also to share it with you. We need to dare to e expre expressing our, our, our vision. Anyway, and in any case, uh, voices need to emerge to make this technology uh, happen, and it, it could happen uh, this year. 
we don't need a lot of things. For instance, um, for individuals, well, if you take the example of your baker or butcher, maybe they have heard about blockchain, but anyway, it's a little bit complicated and there is Bitcoin behind, so mm -mm -mm. maybe they, you don't talk uh, blockchain uh, with, uh, with them. But if the value of, big of Bitcoin still goes up, maybe the voice of the customer will, uh, will raise. If I take the example of the regulators, it's a very important one. The regulators also need to trust that blockchain doesn't going to compromise the safety and soundness of the financial industries. But we have a lot of examples of regulators who are moving. And uh, for instance, the um, Federal Reserve at the end of the previous year published a research paper. Inside this research pa paper, they acknowledge that blockchain has a huge, huge potential. So if all the regulators gain confidence on that technology, then it could encourage the whole industry to embrace a blockchain on a broader scale. And this could be the year, this year uh, uh, that the changes will uh, occur. Other example in the uh, industry, in the FS industry, uh, you have some established uh, firms uh, who have already formed their blockchain leaders. And this, uh, these firms are already in, in the race uh, and they are running faster and faster. Let me give you a few examples. For instance, Philippe Denis in the BNP Paribas, by using the blockchain, we have completely completed several multi-currency intergroup payments within minutes between the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, and Germany. Wow. We all, uh, all, of, all of us know that BNP Paribas has made a lot of blockchain R&D efforts. Here he is, he is talking about cross-border payments, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of things behind. On the top of the slide, you have also a quote from uh, Société Générale and also um, this one in JP Morgan. Some of our businesses will be hard to attack. Others will be easier, like payments. There are weaknesses in these systems that will be a long time ago. So this, um, these guys is aware of the existing threats uh, on, so on some uh, line of services in, uh, in JP Morgan. And in uh, the middle of the slide, you have a lot of uh, use cases in, in, in finance, but I think all of you are already aware of that. So I will go directly to the, to the conclusion. What we think in PwC is that uh, the blockchain leaders need to um, build something between the R&D and the production. They need to dare doing this, and we are sure that there is a blockchain leader inside each company. And what your role <laughs> is to help these people to know that he is he's this guy. And I think you all know someone in a, in a company. And you can help him to be your voice, in fact. And now let's back to the secret ingredient. I talk in my <laughs> introduction. <laughs> well. I said the secret ingredient was trust, and I still believe it. When I say secret ingredient, which product do you have in mind? Which brand? Come on, it's a, <laughs> it's a one Bitcoin okay. question. Yeah, exactly, perfectly, Coca-Cola. 130 years ago, Coca-Cola was a totally unknown. It was an unknown product, right? And when people discovered it, what did they say? First they said, oh my, it's totally stupid. A beverage that makes people happy and without alcohol. And then they said, ah, it's dangerous. There is a secret ingredient inside. It's going to poison us. And then, oh, too many sugars, we're going to be fat. And then, and then, and then, everyone thinks Coca-Cola is totally obvious. Are you tired? Are you thirsty? Have a break, have a Coke. I have a Coca-Cola break. Okay, I know the TV advertising is not about Coca-Cola, it's about Kit Kat. But if you allow me a comparison, from my point of view, the success of Kit Kat compared to the success of Coca-Cola will be the same if we compare the success and the internet and the success, the future success of blockchain. 
I hope I have convinced you. Um, maybe you, you, you didn't uh, need this uh, comparison to become this, but maybe you, you will need this image to convince the others, I mean. So w now what is the role of a company such as PayWC? We aim to be that trusted link between the technological world, the experts, and the social world. We need, we aim to add trust inside the magic potion here, to make it happen easier, safer, and even more with more creativity and imagination. I see us as a catalyst for blockchains, both for experts and the industrial leaders, and for us too. As I, I, I was talking about creativity, and there is also creativity inside HR uh, aspects. W we all know that new skills will be needed. New jobs need to be created to exploit these new possibilities. And at PwC, we can help you in your HR transition and uh, capital planning. And now the latest slide with a gear. I'm sorry, I, I'm an engineer. I love gears and I put gears ev everywhere. <laughs> so look at the starting point, if you can. Here you have the, t the two men in the garage, like for Google. This is the starting point. And this is where we want to go, to see go live, go live application of blockchains. So what is the journey? We all know that the journey will be long, but with a gear, it can be, it can be <laughs> easier. So we have um, several turning points. For instance, we have a de novo platform uh, at PwC. It's a tool that can uh, an analyze uh, strategy of, uh, of firms and help them to, uh, to link with, uh, with startup. It's a real-time analysis, and it's like if you have uh, um, an extra analysis inside your, your team that can help you uh, during night and day and, and weekends to, to do that. Uh, the other turning point is there, we invest a lot in PwC on human resources. We have started working on blockchains uh, two years ago at PwC, focusing uh, on R&D efforts, because we do think that uh, audit will be a core subject uh, of this transformation, because once again, audit brings trust. So if we don't have this, uh, uh, this trust at the end of this, the process, then the process cannot go live, okay? And we also have a blockchain lab in uh, Belfast with uh, almost 25 uh, people, developers, and we also have um, on a real-time basis and everyday discussions with uh, startups because we know that uh, they are an invaluable source of knowledge and, uh, and expertise. The end of the journey is uh, very important too. Uh, proof of concept and, and pilot are also essential steps to secure, uh, to secure the collaboration and to confirm learnings and business cases and to make it happen. To conclude, well, to conclude, as Sébastien says uh, very often, blockchain bigger than internet. We do think it's the case. Uh, but what would it take for blockchain to be fully adopted across the ecosystem? We think, we believe, that the answer is trust. But if someone, or a regulator, or an industry leader, remain a bit skeptical about blockchain, what could be the answer to give them? I think new, new technologies always face a trust barrier anyway. And if we take, once again, examples from the past, well, you could say to, uh, to these people, did electricity have burned your house? No. And the example of uh, uh, ATM is very mismatched between what you uh, withdraw at the ATM and the level of cash in your, in your account? No. But remember the first time, maybe you are too young for this, but <laughs> the, the first time you, you, you tried an ATM, I think you were uh, scared about this. And today, you, you don't even think about this. You take the cash and uh, you open the electricity. Nobody thinks about the technology which is behind. Nobody. I, so I don't know why people <laughs> do want to, um, 
to know exactly what is behind blockchain to be sure that it's a, it's a good solution for our society. I, I don't know, but for me, the true question, question still pending is are, could this year be the year it happens? And will the, chan the change be incremental or disruptive? Maybe the right answer is it depends. Nobody knows for sure the answer of his question, but it doesn't mind. We are already uh, reaching the, the target anyway. And as a conclusion, I would say that be sure that PwC trust in the future of blockchain. We are all committed to put together all the ingredients inside the recipe to help blockchain deliver its promises, to accelerate the change, and to make this change as secure as possible. Trust me. Thank you. <laughs>